Hi all, thought I'd do a little wear and tear video for you. So this is the Balenciaga pom pom. It is the regular size pom pom and it is in this beautiful 2010 um, Murier purple color, which is a kind of lilac purple. It is gorgeous. So because it is from, it's from fall winter 2010, so it is just under eight years old now. And I thought I'd show you how it ages. Like most Balenciaga, it ages beautifully. It sags a lot more than it originally did when you get it. You do get some of the color fade, but with this deep purple, the color really hasn't faded very much at all, even though the bag is old. Whereas some of my other um, Balenciaga bags, I think you notice the color fading a lot more. Inside you can see as well, the color is pretty much standard and the same. There's really no color fading with this at all. You do have a little bit of wear showing up um, just along the edges of the bag here. You also have, you can see, um, the handles are darkening a little bit just compared to the rest of the bag, but again, that's from just the oils in your hands. That happens with all the Balenciaga handles. Um, a good way to prevent that is to wrap the straps in some kind of fabric like silk or cotton just like a little scarf. That works really nicely. You've also got, you can see it a little bit more here, you've got the wear on the little brass studs which again happens with all Balenciagas anyway. You've also got little whiskers starting to appear so that's where the sealant is starting to peel off. Um, and you can see some of the threads coming out from the bag, so you can see it there on the drawstring, it's quite pronounced. But one thing to note is that there is no wear on the drawstring straps, they don't look worn at all, they haven't cracked, um, they haven't faded, they haven't been scratched by the rings. You can see though, just like on the studs, there's a little bit of wear on the rings where the drawstring attaches. Just again, because the, the hardware does start to oxidise and show its age a little bit. You've also got, I noticed it a lot on the Balenciagas, on this little buckle here, you can see a little bit of wear on either side, just from where it rubs against things. It's got a couple of surface scratches, but it's still a gorgeous, gorgeous colour of a bag. On the base, there's really not any wear. You don't see any of the edging wear because the, it's a circular edging whereas um, on the city bags for example you might see some wear on some of the corners with the piping but you don't see that here. One thing to note is that on the back you can see or hopefully you can see um, with the light it's kind of tricky there's a little bit of wear on this back section here and a little bit of color transfer. So because it is a circular base if you're wearing it um, and you're putting it over your shoulder You've got this section that rubs against your clothes and if you're wearing it using the crossbody strap and wearing it crossbody, you're going to get that rubbing against jeans. But for a bag that's eight years old, it's really not a lot of wear. It's just something to think about. If you do have Balenciagas, they do lighter colours like this, do pick up colour transfer a lot easier. But it's such a beautiful purple. <laughs> so the bag is really very smishy. It is completely and utterly empty and it just folds down into a gorgeous puddle because it is such a wide bag but because it is so loved and worn it just sags beautifully. So I think overall this has aged really really well. I do find that there are some points on Balenciaga's like the hardware and the handles that do tend to show the age a little bit more and the difference in the shape between when you first get them, they're quite structured and then as the leather over time just kind of sort of sags and wears in and it just turns into this big puddle of leather like that. But I still think they look like beautiful bags. There's not very many brands that I think you could have an eight year old bag and it still look this good. So I do still highly recommend them, but those are some of the different ways that it wears and tears over the years. If you have any questions, comments, just let me know, just leave them down below. 
and thank you very much for watching.